Farmer Andy Crow has to defend his crops from ground and air attack. Rabbits and deer are the main offenders advancing over his fields with the FAF, the Feral Air Force, showing no mercy from the skies. But at this time of year, it isn't just fighter pigeons wreaking havoc on the winter wheat. Bomber Command is also peckish. Geese. There's a muddy puddle on the farm, which is seeing a lot of air traffic. Some days, Andy is counting up to 60 geese, so he has arranged for a friendly ACAC battery to try and shoot down a few this morning. Sporting shooter magazine editor Dom Holtam is here, sporting a very handsome moustache, known as a trucker. Practically a Freddy. It's, uh, it's for charity. What? Mm. I mean, I in November. It's too short. Huh? Too short it's for people with testicular cancer. So Just to raise awareness and money for charity. I mean, not an issue for you. You haven't got any. <laughs> but then there's Mr. Crow himself doing his bit for charity. Poppy appeal. Out the here, ice. Yeah. So what's the plan? Well, we've all got here early this morning. Um, We've got about 60, 70 Canada geese coming into a pond which we've got on the farm here. Um, it's been a bit of a problem at the moment. We've got a bit of uh, winter wheat out the, on the edge of the pond um, and they seem to be grazing it off. Um, so this morning we just, we're just going to try and thin them out a bit. Uh, they do come in in two lots. As you can hear, one lot's just coming in now. So better get on and get out there and get ready for them coming in. Andy and his cousin Gary take cover in the reeds. Dom and Justin have the hide under the oak. Thankfully for the camera, the geese are late and there is some light when we hear the first distant honks. If you've never experienced it, please make the effort to have a go. It really does get the blood pumping. There are a decent number of birds. Everyone has a shot. A few hit the deck and Amber is off after them. After another 10 minutes, we start seeing geese arrive in smaller numbers, making them easier to single out. In all, we have 10 birds on the ground. Crowman talks us through the technique and the shells used today, as he can't use lead on English wildfowl. The plan was today, the lads take the first shots as they're coming in, me and Gary shoot as they go out. As for cartridges, well, uh, we use an Ely VIP still and the bismuth, a combination of either of the two. Ely have given us some to try out, so um, they work well. Um, we shot a few geese. Even shooting on uh, over ponds, you still have to use the steel and the bismuth, so and they, well, they seem to perform well. What about technique? Technique? Uh, they miss them and me and Gary shoot them. That's the technique. Um, Dom's over there. He's, he's worked really well today as a bird scare. Dom, I, I will say Dom did shoot shoot a couple, but that's the technique. Dom scares them, we shoot them. And uh, you can see we've got a nice bag full. What about lead and things like that? Lead? Phew, forget the body. It takes a lot of a lot of pressure to get the shot through the down and the feathers. Just ignore the body, come from behind. It's the head you want to be hitting. You want to get right up the front end. You want to shoot it as if it's a small bird. Uh, they, they're travelling fast as well, um, so you really want you've really got to get through them. But it's it's the front end you want to be hitting. As we line out the birds, Crowman can't help noticing the number of pigeons moving overhead. One flock comes <laughs> low, and there are so many birds you can hear them. It's all part of the seasonal migration. A lot of people don't agree with me when, when I say they migrate, but anyone that's into pigeon shooting and knows their pigeons, they, they do know that they do migrate. So. But they migrate in their thousands, like Monday. Coming through here, they was going, <coughs> it's strange really, because they was going from south to north, and usually this time of year they're going north to south. But they were coming through, there must have been in excess of 20,000 pigeons coming through here on Monday. Um, just hedge hopping and, and just moving through. Um, a pack of pigeons going over top now. They're just coming through here all the time. Here is the damage that has been done by the geese. 
a good acre has been munched over the last few weeks. This week um, I have put a bit of corn on the pond just to try and keep them off of this because they were just going across it like a, a flock of sheep. Um, at the moment it, it's so mild the corn's still growing um, so it's getting away from it. it. It will come back but if they just stay there all winter they just strip this field and then once they finish this field they just go into the next field. Uh, I'm quite lucky I can I can keep them off, but a lot of the farmers down on the marsh and that they they get hundreds of geese on their on their fields and they just graze them off. So that's for Christmas, eh? Yeah, good for Christmas. A lot of people say they're they're like eating. I think I, I read it in one of the shooting magazines. I think it must have been the sporting shooter. Um, some chap reckon put a brick in the oven and a, a can of the goose and chuck the goose away and eat the brick. But I've oh. I've eaten a hell of a lot of geese and I haven't found one of the ones that taste like a brick yet. Don has shot his first ever goose today, so has he enjoyed this type of shooting? Yeah, no, I, I did enjoy it. It's quite exciting because they're so big and make so much noise when they come in. It's, uh, yeah, it's quite exciting really. Um, uh, I can see why, why the, you know, the appeal of people going out onto the foreshore and, and shooting out on the marsh. It must be really haunting hearing them coming in in a lonely landscape. But... Uh, Easier to carry them back to the farm. Christmas has come early. Only this time these geese are getting fat thanks to Crowman's wheat. And the guns are going to put on a few extra pounds with a proper farmhouse breakfast. What a way to start the day.